do to take care of your septic system and increase longevity is one, maintain your system like you're supposed to. So pump your septic tank out once every three years. Also make sure you have a service contract if you have an alternative treatment um, disposal system or an alternative treatment unit. These systems must be inspected once every six months by someone certified to do so. That will ensure that they are working properly. Some other things to think about that you may not always think about when you think about wastewater systems is water efficiency. Look for leaks in your house. If you think that you may have a toilet or a faucet that's leaking, make sure you stop it right away and don't let it carry on. It's gonna add excessive hydraulic loads to your septic system and you don't want excess water in there. Make sure you look at laundry, the way that you do your laundry. Instead of doing five loads of laundry on a Saturday, which we're all guilty of, um, spread your laundry out throughout the week. Give your system time to rest and be able to take those loads when you put it through there. If you have a garbage disposal, try not to use it. Um, it's going to break down different organic matters and food sources that typically aren't in septic systems, so it'll have a harder time treating it. And also think about it that your toilet and your sink aren't trash cans, so don't use them as such. Um, don't put chemicals down your drain, such as paint. Um, don't put um, high excessive rates of bleach or cleaners um, down your drain. All of these things can destroy the microbial population or those good bugs that we want in your wastewater system that are going to treat the wastewater. Another thing to think about is additives. Everybody always says, can an additive help my septic system work properly? Well, the easy answer is, according to DENREC regulations, you're not allowed to have additives, so don't use it. Another way to think about an additive, at that point in time, you're adding something to the system that you think will work, but there are no control mechanisms and there's no consistency. So you're consistently not monitoring that treatment system to see the performance over time. So just do away with it and allow those naturally occurring microorganisms and bacteria that are found in the septic tank do their job.